But when you're here early, there isn't all the commotion. You have a chance to gather your thoughts. Most of the time, uh, a dish is born based on an ingredient. You have a foundation, you know, maybe it's, um, you know, maybe it's a type of fish that the fishmonger called up and said that they have, and, and you start to think, okay, so what, what's the texture of the fish? What's the flavor of the fish? I sort of just use my, my memory, you know, my palate, uh, my, my, what I remember something tasting like or the texture of something, and, and let that sort of guide me. If you overthink it and you make it too scientific, um, you lose some of the soul. And that's, you know, at its heart what cooking's all about. It's soulful, it's meant, it's meant to be from the heart. Mitas is really uh, a Latin American Spanish restaurant focused around tapas or small plates. It was a way for me to, to tap into my um, South American ethnicity. This restaurant is, is it's named after my grandmother. Uh, we called her Mamita, which is sort of a, a word for grandma, and then we shortened it even more to Mita. I had to incorporate some of her, her style of cooking, and a lot of it is comfort food. You know, it's those things that, uh, you know, the rice and, and uh, the empanadas and the arepa and things that are just kind of Colombian soul food. And the menu is, is purposely encompassing a huge swath, like it's Spanish and Latin American. The empanadas are probably our number one seller, probably our signature dish. So it's a cornmeal crust as opposed to uh, a wheat base, you know, or, or um, wheat dough that you get in some other countries. And then they come with this really wonderful sauce called Aji or pique, which translates to, to chili in, in Spanish. I, I took some of the inspiration from the Colombian traditional foods and maybe just kind of give it a little, little tiny twist. I think acid is probably one of those ingredients that a seasoned chef, somebody who's been doing it for a while, tell you that behind salt, it's probably the next most important item in a dish. The aroma, the, the brightness, the balance that you get versus that like, you know, grilled smoky flavor. It, it's, um, I think, what rounds out a dish. Vegetables are, are very versatile and I like the, the texture of a vegetable in different ways sometimes. You take a parsnip and you puree it, you add a little bit of cream, a little bit of butter, or olive oil and it's this really delicious creamy you know almost kind of uh, sauce in its in its own right right and it's sweet but it's full of flavor but then you take that same parsnip and maybe you roast it and then you take the same parsnip and you slice it real thin and deep fry it and all of a sudden you have three different textures but also three very distinct flavors of that same vegetable and that's that's always a, a good way to highlight an ingredient and showcase it in a few different ways. Jose Salazar have, and I have been working together for about two and a half years. He likes to play with uh, textures and using ingredients in multiple different ways. On the national level, we've been nominated semi-finalists for the James Beard Foundation in the past two years. Here locally, you know, we've been named in the top 10 of the Cincinnati Magazine. It's a blessing to, to get a chance to work that closely with someone who is being recognized on a national level. The team's everything. I think that, that they respect me and um, know that I'm willing to roll up my sleeves and, uh, and do just about anything it takes to, to get the job done. I'm really nothing without them, and that sounds cliche, but it's a reality. We just got some beautiful lamb in from a farm in Kentucky and uh, really are focusing on how can we use every part of the animal in different and interesting ways. I'm thinking I want to do empanadas with 
the, 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 the lamb neck. So we're going to braise the lamb neck and, uh, and do a really nice baked empanada in a kind of a puff pastry crust. And maybe a, a sauce with a little bit of ginger and herbs and, and something that plays off the, uh, the slight gaminess of the lamb. I love the way our menu structure. I really do. Now it feels more cohesive. The, the fits with the overall theme of the restaurant, and um, and the guests have really loved it. There are very few places where you can have a tapas experience of authentic Spanish um, cheese, meat, paella. It's a it's one of the only options in the city, and it's top notch. I started working in restaurants when I was about 18. Um, because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I thought, okay, I'll just I'll work in restaurants for a little bit until, until I figure it out. Ultimately, I, I found myself kind of cooking at home and wanting to, to explore food. And, and again, I didn't grow up you know, eating or, or going out to, to experience you know, gastronomy necessarily, but it just took hold and I said, all right, this is, this is kind of it. Like I, and, and so it's it's more of a, a sense. I don't know that you you can really say you know I do it for this or that, other than than you just you end up falling in love with it. <laughs>